from Disney's The Little Mermaid. Listen close, I have a secret to tell. How to make a princess out of Ariel. Princess Mermaid Ariel. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. My name is Joey and today we are talking about one of my favourite subjects. Ah, Ariel. We are talking about Little Mermaid dolls. More specifically, we're talking about the evolution of Ariel in doll form, which I am so excited about. I've done loads of research and I just love The Little Mermaid. If you love Disney and dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. But anyway, let's talk about the evolution of Ariel as a doll. Now, The Little Mermaid came out in 1989 and it was a massive, massive success for the Disney company and is now known as the start of the Disney Renaissance. The Little Mermaid was also the first Disney film in 30 years to have a princess as the main character. And because they had a beautiful princess as the main character, they obviously needed to make dolls. <laughs> In the 30 years before the film came out, there had been a massive boom in the fashion doll industry, pioneered by, of course, the one and only Barbie. And Ariel was the perfect subject to make a fashion doll out of. I mean, she's a mermaid, she has incredible red hair, although not everyone agreed with that idea. In fact, Ron Clements, who was one of the directors on The Little Mermaid, often mentions that there was a lot of pushback from toy manufacturers and Disney, the Disney company, to give Ariel blonde hair to make her more marketable. But obviously they wanted to give her red hair. Ron Clements has even said that toy manufacturers said that red-headed dolls don't sell. And that might be the reason why the very first Ariel doll to be released was this doll by Tyco. I'm pretty sure Tyco is now defunct, like it's a toy company that doesn't exist anymore, but they'd given her like kind of strawberry blonde, like very, very light red hair, which I thought was interesting. Also, this doll looks nothing like Ariel. What is going on with this face mold? It's absolutely awful. But I do really like the packaging and the box here. It's very cute, very reminiscent of the film's aesthetic. But funnily enough, it could have been even worse. Here are some images of the prototype dolls before they came out. This was part of a kind of promotional booklet. Look at Ariel's face. What is going on here? Also, the skin on her face looks like a slightly different colour to the skin on the rest of her body. That's weird. But nothing is worse than Eric's face here. Wh what is going on? He looks like a depressed old man. I don't know which one is worse in this image, Ariel or Eric. But anyway, Tycho released this doll and, funnily enough, kids complained about the hair colour. They said it wasn't red enough. Also around this time, a company called Applause Toys, which is also a defunct toy company, made Ariel dolls. They were slightly bigger and had like soft, squidgy bodies, but they also gave the doll like kind of very light, strawberry blonde kind of red hair. Very weird. Um, I have to say though, these dolls have a much better face sculpt than the Tyco dolls. Anyway, kids complained. So, when Tycho released their next Ariel doll in the early 90s, they gave her much brighter, fire truck red hair, and they also gave her a new face sculpt, which is much more adorable, much more movie accurate. I, I love this doll, I have this doll, and she's really, really, really cute. Tycho continued to release loads and loads and loads of different Ariel dolls, you can see them here, and they are stunning. I absolutely love these Ariel dolls. They're super whimsical and they use like a lot of artistic license to give Ariel all these cool, unique outfits and tails. And also they are so 90s, like oh my goodness, these dolls are just screaming 90s. I actually have one of my Tyco dolls right here and she's stunning. She's stunning. Like look at this tail, this is the kind of tropical hair or maybe it was called Calypso hair. And I just love this. She looks like she's going to Mardi Gras or something. Uh, she's really cute, she's got incredible long red hair. I really want this other tropical themed Ariel doll from Tycho, really cute. Every single different kind of doll gimmick you could think of, Tycho made a Ariel doll for that gimmick. And in 1992, The Little Mermaid TV series was released, which I used to love watching on the Disney Channel. It was such a cute show. 
And Taiko even made dolls which were based around specific episodes of the TV show. Like here, there is this aerial babysitting set which comes with the two babies from the TV show. Super, super cute. And there's this one here which is called A Whale of a Tale which is also, you know, an episode of the TV show, and I love Ariel's tail in this one. It's got colours similar to her, like, new friend Spot, who's a whale. I used to love that episode, and I used to even have this video, which is pictured here. I just love how, like, campy these dolls are. They really got to use their artistic license. For example, these cool teen Ariel dolls, there's a there's one of her friend called Shelly, and one of her friend called Pearl, and they come with, like, really super 90s underwater, like, teen technology. Like, Shelly has a Walkman, and Pearl has a phone. Like, a little phone that looks like a shell. And Ariel even came with, like, an undersea pizza. <laughs> how wacky. I just love how creative these dolls are. But throughout the Taiko era of Ariel dolls, for some reason, Eric still looked like a grumpy old man, like, what is going on with this doll's face sculpt? And another thing I found really disconcerting about the Ariel doll and the Eric doll is Ariel was, like, much, much, much shorter than Eric. Like, she looks like a child next to him, which makes this set here where they're in their wedding outfits, like, even more uncomfortable. They've given Ariel a body sculpt which is similar to Skipper, the Skipper dolls, and, you know, Skipper's meant to be like 12, I think, 12 or 13, so a bit uncomfortable. This age gap feels uncomfortable, but I'm sure that wasn't intentional. Anyway, in 1994, Mattel, the manufacturer of Barbie, started making the Disney dolls, and they released their first Ariel doll, which was this doll here, this miniature doll, which was part of the musical classics line, musical princesses line. And this doll is super rare, and she's really cute. Her face just looks like your kind of, like, your standard Barbie face sculpt. I don't think they gave her her own specific face sculpt for this line, but still a very cute doll. Next, in 1997, The Little Mermaid was re-released in cinemas, and Mattel released a whole line of Ariel dolls, and oh my goodness, these are my favourite Ariel dolls that have ever been produced. I absolutely love them. Look how beautiful they are. Here's just a couple of the different Ariel dolls you could get in this line. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I have quite a lot of these dolls. I really want to get the Let's Swim Ariel doll with the little kind of Shelly baby doll. I love, again, that they've taken their creative license and, you know, given her a yellow tail here. That's so cool. Again, some of the designs are super 90s. I have this Princess Mermaid Ariel doll from the 1997 line, and I love this doll. This honestly might be my favourite Ariel doll of all time. She's stunning. She transforms from a mermaid to a princess. And this colour scheme and this art design is so nostalgic for me. I absolutely love how bright and bold the colours are. I love this doll. I have this one here still in the box, and I have one at my parents' house which is out of the box, and obsessed, obsessed. There was also this really cool budget line of Tropical Splash Ariel dolls, and again, I love these dolls. I have the Ariel and the Eric in this line, but I really want to get the others. She's got her friend Kayla, and her sisters Anita and Arista, and their tails would change colour in warm water. Again, obsessed. Around this time, that company I mentioned before, Applause, tried to make an Ariel doll, and she's kind of creepy. She's kind of creepy. I, what is going on here? She looks like an alien. There's something about her eyes. She's got like a dead stare. Creepy. No wonder Applause went out of business. Mattel would continue to make Ariel dolls into the noughties. Lots of these dolls would be part of the Disney Princess line. I made a whole video about the evolution of the Disney Princess line. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link on the screen and somewhere in the description. But anyway, some of these noughties Ariel dolls made by Mattel are absolutely stunning. I really want to get this Forever Hair Ariel doll, but she's like super rare. Well, at least she is in the UK. And this Flutter Fantasy Ariel doll, stunning. 
I think a lot of these Mattel Ariel dolls weren't sold in the UK because I don't remember seeing them in shops and this was around the time that the UK and the rest of Europe had Disney dolls made by Simba, but we'll talk about Simba later. Anyway, in around 2004-2005, Mattel continued to make Ariel dolls, but they changed the body sculpt. They made her ever so slightly shorter. Her and Snow White, and I think also Jasmine, got a slightly smaller body mould. They're slightly shorter than the other Disney princesses. Slightly more youthful as well. And she also got a new face sculpt, and I don't like it. I don't know why her jaw looks like really prominent for some reason. But this is still a beautiful doll, and I actually have this doll at home. Stunning. Mattel continued to make Ariel dolls throughout the noughties, and they actually changed her face sculpt. They gave her a much cuter, more youthful face sculpt. I really like this face sculpt. Very cute. They changed it again in around 2010 to this kind of, like, smiling face. This one's quite cute. It's not that bad, but again, she's got a little bit of that dead stare. She kind of looks a bit like E.T. I don't know why. Her eyes are, like, way too far apart. And also, this was around the time Mattel's quality started to really, really drop. Like, you can see in these dolls here, there are so many more, like, painted on clothes, moulded plastic, zero articulation. It was, a, it was a dark time to be a doll collector. Finally, in 2014, Mattel changed the aerial face sculpt once again. And, yeah, I don't like this one. For some reason, I don't know, her face looks kind of elongated. It's not very cute. This hair looks like it's got loads of glue in it. I hate the painted on clothes. Trash. I really don't like this doll. And after that, Mattel lost the license to make Disney dolls, and it went over to Hasbro. But, you know what? Not all the later Mattel Disney dolls were that bad. Like, I absolutely loved the Classics collection. This Ariel doll was really, really, really cool. I love her bright red hair and her adorable face. This doll had a really interesting gimmick as well. Her legs would, like, move from side to side instead of, like, backwards and forwards. Really strange. I have this doll, I really like her, but the weird articulation in the legs is weird. Now, remember how I mentioned the toy company Simba? Well, while America was getting all these amazing Mattel Ariel dolls, the UK and the rest of Europe were getting dolls made by Simba. So here are some of the Simba dolls. Uh, now, I can't really tell these apart. Some of these dolls are made by Simba, some of them are made by a company called Character, and some of them are made by a company called Vivid, and I can't really tell them apart. <laughs> At the time, I used to complain about them because I was used to the 1997 Ariel dolls, and they were just, like, top tier. And these dolls looked a little bit off-model. They looked kind of cheap. Although they still had, like, removable fashions and stuff like that, and really nice, soft hair. I have, in recent years, like, bought all of these dolls off eBay because I have a newfound appreciation for them. Here are some of the different face sculpts we got in Europe. Some of them just don't look quite right, but they're still cute. They're still cute. They're not creepy like some of the other face sculpts we've seen. Ariel, for some reason, always gets, like, done dirty with the face sculpts. Some of her face sculpts are absolutely horrific. In 2007, there was also a line of Ariel and her sister's dolls, which were released. Again, only in America, we didn't get these in the UK. And they were, like, super stylized. They had really, like, weird proportions, but, you know, they're cute. They're quite cute. I like these dolls. I wish I owned one, but they are also incredibly, incredibly rare. I'm pretty sure these dolls came out when The Little Mermaid was, like, re-released on DVD. I remember that so vividly. Now, meanwhile, of course, the Disney store was also making Ariel dolls. And these are some of the early, like, 90s Ariel dolls. I love these dolls so much. Again, very nostalgic to me. These were, like, sold in the Disney store and in the parks. They have, like, a really cute round face, which doesn't really look like Ariel, I will say that, but is just super adorable, and they had really nice soft hair. Later on, the Disney store also started to create Ariel dolls which looked like this. These were kind of given the Disney princess treatment, all the boxes were pink and stuff like that. I don't think we ever got these dolls in the UK because I don't remember seeing them in the UK, but I love them. I absolutely love these dolls. The face sculpt is really cute, 
And again, Disney has like used their creativity a little bit. Some of these concepts are great. I love this fun in the sun Ariel doll and this summer sun Ariel doll where she's in like a swimsuit. There's like a Mardi Gras Ariel doll, which is so fun. I love these dolls. Meanwhile, in Europe, we had Ariel dolls which looked like this. Yeah, the face sculpt just isn't it on these dolls. I remember having one of these dolls and like really hating her because her face looked like a mask. It was so weird. Like she had like this bulbous thing that connected her head to her neck and then her face was like on top of it. It was, it was so weird. Like I hated these dolls. But when it comes to terrible, terrible aerial face sculpts, the award has to go to Disney on Ice. I don't know which toy company makes the Disney on Ice dolls, but they look so weird. They look so weird. Here you can see like a slightly earlier one. She's fine. It doesn't look like Ariel. She looks kind of worried. But when I went to Disney on Ice in about 2014, I think it was, they were selling these Ariel dolls. And I actually bought one just because I thought they were so bizarre and so weird. I had to have her in my collection. But her face sculpt is so strange. And also Disney on Ice is responsible for this monstrosity. What is going on with her eyes? Disney on Ice, are you okay? In 2008, The Little Mermaid had a stage show open on Broadway. I actually got to see this show when I was 14 and we went to New York. I loved it, I thought it was really good. The Heelys were a bit weird. All the mermaids were on Heelys, those shoes with wheels. Very of its time, <laughs> dates the show horribly. But anyway, they did make two dolls for the stage show and these dolls, are stunning. Like, they're absolutely stunning. Especially the one on the right with all the embellishment and stuff. Really, really beautiful. While I was searching the internet looking for Ariel dolls, I found this Ariel doll, which was made... It's made to be, like, put inside a cake. She looks very happy to be shoved into a cake, and I love that for her. As I mentioned before, in 2014, Hasbro took over the Disney license and started making Disney dolls. And of course, they made Ariel dolls. These are all the different basic Ariel dolls we got during this time. They started off looking very, very cartoony, which was different, and I appreciated that. And then slowly, 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 they started to look slightly more naturalistic. Unfortunately, the quality also massively dipped, and we started getting, like, hard plastic clothes, which I think is a shame. My favourite Ariel doll from Hasbro was definitely this one here, with the kind of watercolour pattern on her dress. She had like a really cute face sculpt, really soft hair. I love this doll. People didn't like the Hasbro Disney dolls, but I thought they had some good lines. Like, for example, the Hasbro collector dolls were like really beautiful, like this one. And the style line was great as well. I think this is a really beautiful doll. This one was released to celebrate the Little Mermaid's 30th anniversary. Here are some of the other Ariel dolls which were released by Hasbro. They brought out so many dolls while they had the license. We even got a Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet Ariel doll. We got quite a few, actually. I didn't like that film. I didn't like that film. I didn't like it, but, you know. Now, in about 2009, the Disney Store dolls completely changed, and here you can see all the different classic Ariel dolls that were released by the Disney Store in this new kind of era. I love these dolls. I love the Disney Store dolls. They're really nice quality. They really capture Ariel perfectly, I would say. I actually have the most recent Ariel doll from the Disney Store right here. She's really cute. Obviously, the packaging now is all cardboard, there's no plastic used, which is really great. I love her face sculpt. The hair is like super soft and super long. I wish she had her like famous bangs and I love her tail. I'm not a massive fan of this tool they've used for her fins, but it is what it is. I think my favorite Disney Store Ariel doll is the one from 2012 because she had like really soft material used on her fins. It was really nice. Her hair was slightly shorter, which was a shame, but I loved the fins. They were great. And the colours were, like, spot on as well. But looking back at all the different Ariel dolls, it is making me very nostalgic. I love the Disney Store. <laughs> R.I.P. the Disney Store. 
it's basically dead now. For a while, the Disney parks had different dolls to the Disney stores, and here you can see some of the different Ariel dolls that were made for the Disney parks. Stunning, beautiful, for some reason, at Disneyland Paris, which is the Disney park I always go to, they always had her in her wedding dress. They never had her with her mermaid's tail, which I thought was a shame. I prefer Ariel as a mermaid, who wouldn't? Of course, Disney has also brought out loads and loads and loads of collector dolls and limited edition Ariel dolls. I'm not going to talk about them all here, but here are some of my favourites. There's obviously the Disney Store limited edition dolls. I have the one which celebrates Ariel's 30th. She's beautiful, she's at my parents' house, I'm obsessed with her. I also have this Ariel Signature Collection doll, and I don't know, I feel like they've taken slightly too much creative liberty with this Ariel doll, to the point where she doesn't even look like Ariel anymore. I'm also annoyed because I think the prototype for this doll looks much, much, much better than the one we got. But still a stunning doll, and I'm glad I have her in my collection. Nowadays, of course, the Ariel dolls are once again made by Mattel. And uh, I'm not sure how I feel about them. Like, I'll tell you what, the face sculpt is perfect. Like, this could be one of the best aerial face sculpts we've ever gotten, but the quality is just not it. No. I actually made a whole video where I unboxed some of the new Mattel Disney dolls, so if you want to watch that, I'll put a link on the screen and somewhere in the description. The Mattel Disney dolls are very similar to the Hasbro Disney dolls, they just have slightly better face sculpts. And of course, I had to talk about the new Ariel dolls which have come out in celebration of the live-action remake of The Little Mermaid which comes out this Friday, the 26th of May. 2023. <laughs> I have two of these dolls. This one's from the Disney Store, this one's from Mattel. These are obviously based around Hallie Bailey, who is an amazing, amazing performer, great talent. I'm so excited to see her as the Little Mermaid. These dolls are really cute, I really like them, and it's just great to see how far Ariel has come, you know? This was one of the earliest Ariel dolls we ever got, and this is her today. She is such an iconic character, and I'm so glad we have so many dolls of her. <laughs> One day I want to own them all. If you want to see my Little Mermaid doll collection in its entirety, I made a video which you can watch. I will put a link in the description and on the screen. Now, doll fans, thank you so much for watching me talk about the evolution of Ariel dolls. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, check me out on Instagram and TikTok and watch some more of my videos, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye!